Okay, so with the next Dokkan Fest unit being a path to power Kid Goku, there's a lot of speculation going on, you know, with his leader skill, what his kit could be, you know, animations he could have. But I think another important thing that people are also bringing up a lot is the potential easy A's for the celebration. So I covered this a little bit in the announcement video that we have, but I think there's a good amount of you know, very solid easy A's we can get for the celebration, which obviously, I mean, for me, it's very, very exciting. But if we take a look here at this list made by Misaka here, Again, I feel like I pull this up like every other video. Just an extremely helpful list in terms of like speculating like Stokon Fest units, you know, upcoming EZAs. So just very, very important with how they shape celebrations now. If we take a look at these LRs, obviously none of these summonable LRs really seem that they would fit like a youth Dragon Ball Saga kind of theme. So we're going to skip out on summonable LRs from now. I don't really expect one to EZA during the celebration. Now, if we take a look at Dokkan Fest T Wars again, uh, if we just kind of scroll through this, right? None of these units on this first page feel like they're going to be relevant to the theme, which again looks to be basically just Dragon Ball Saga. Then, anyways, we skip over here, Kid Goku. Uh, it's really just Kid Goku because obviously they're not going to easy any 2020 unit. And even then, none of these units would really fit. Maybe Gotenks has like a youth theme, but they're not going to easy that Gotenks. I think Kid Goku right here, he is very, very, very likely to get an actual easy now, which is very exciting. I think a lot of people like this Kid Goku unit. I think that, you know, he could be a quite an interesting option. The only issue is that his name is Goku Youth. The new Dokkan Fest will likely be named Goku Youth. So they're going to have a name thing. Uh, they, they've done this a lot recently. I don't know. Like, you know, a very good example is the the Metal Cooler, AGL Metal Cooler, and then the LR Metal Cooler, right? It's just kind of odd. At the very least, they may be on different teams. Like, it's, it's possible this guy just does not even have GB Saga. This guy will be on, like, Battle of Fates. Probably he'll be on, I would say, Revenge, likely, more than the other unit. He'll be on Giant 8 Power, right? There's some teams that this guy will be on that the actual movie one will not be on uh, this guy could be really good though i uh, imagine if they give him like damage reduction here or something that'd be really sick uh, make him get raised defense on super attack at least for one turn i'd like the stun chance uh, he could be quite interesting for long-term events for sure it just depends on what they give him i mean his link set's not really the best right now necessarily on the family though i love this link so I don't know. We'll see how this how they would make this guy. Obviously, if he easy A's, these two units are going easy as well, and they'll fit the theme very well. This Roshi is quite interesting. He's like definitely super battle road esque. He's not gonna be really useful for like the short events, so or I mean for the long events, I mean. So I'm not sure how they handle him like that. I mean, this is quite good though. I like this. Maybe they just get rid of the defense debuff. I don't think that he really needs that anymore. What if they just give him on like 150% defense like that? Keep the attack, but then make him get 100% defense on super. And I think that could be really good. He'll get easy A stats and stuff. He has guaranteed crit and stun. Um, that's pretty good. And he seals obviously in a super attack. I like how this Roshi was designed. It's, I think that could be quite interesting. I really, really all I could say about it, right? I mean. He is unfortunately not going to be really fit for, like, you know, these type of content like Red Zone that are multiple phases. I mean, maybe you could use them to nuke a Red Zone stage somehow. That could be interesting, but I like this guy. Now, the Steam King Piccolo, again, he's a unit that after first few turns, he does get weaker. Um, he has this buff for the first few turns, and then for the sixth turn, he loses like 80% attack and key. I mean, really, this guy is super old as well. Give him defense raise and super. Just buff his stats up. Make this like a 150% attack and defense. Make this attack and defense, both of these right here. Maybe, yeah, I mean, give him 50% defense on super. I don't know <laughs> what they could do. Maybe he, yeah, I realized this guy does not have any bad bosses. That sucks so bad. Maybe give him some type of like extreme class support. I think that could be interesting. Something that some of these teams wouldn't have. Like, I think yeah, like a support unit could be really strong for a lot of these teams. Because a lot of these teams don't really have a mega strong support unit. Now this, I guess, Steaming King Piccolo 
being a support is kind of weird. He could orb change. The attack LR orb changes, so that could be cool. But uh, if we're going to take a look at some other potential EZs we could see, I'm just going to go through both the youth category team and Dragon Ball Saga. If there's any that you guys feel like I missed, let me know in the comments below. But I think that this will be the most, the, the clearest way we could see for these potential EZs in the celebration. Now, this unit already got their EZ recently. Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely, they're going to easy A. This is a free to play LR. Back in the day, this LR was super insane. How could they change this unit to make them good? I mean, add greatly raised defense here, too. That could be sick. Make their change their passive wording so that they get the damage reduction before they attack. That would be really, really good. The orb changing is nice. Give them like a start of turn 59% attacking defense at minimum. Add defense on here. Maybe give them some nuking ability per normal key spheres obtained. Maybe give them some type of support ability beyond the key sphere changing. Like what if they give like youth or DB saga like 40% attacking defense. They order orb chain so they don't really have to provide key. And I mean that you know would be really good. So hopefully they make this unit good because it's like when are you going to get a Goku and a Roller card? Like again probably never so... <laughs> Uh, hopefully they don't fumble with this unit if they do easy a that'd be super sick um oh could he easy a it's too soon for him right definitely he's not even listed he is listed here but they're not gonna easy an end of 2020 unit you know it's like you look at it at first but nah definitely not they're not gonna easy a him but that would be absurd <laughs> imagine <laughs> that'd be funny Actually, that'd be really cool. Uh, hilarious. Ooh, maybe we could finally get this guy's prime battle campaign. Yeah, that could be nice. A prime battle campaign for this kid, Gohan. If it's a youth theme celebration. V-Pan's already easy, right? Um, I mean, just looking here. No one really pops to my to mind. I mean, maybe this Gohan could get an easy, that could be sick. Uh, Bra already got their easy recently. This could go on to easy this celebration, probably. I don't know why he didn't. I mean, he eases with Piccolo medals, but you know. I mean, yeah. Ooh, what if, like, these two easy right here? Where are they? They might save them. Where's the other one? Is the tech? They might save these guys. Did that first battle? What are these awaken from? The Goten and Trunks event, right? They. No, Ink Go Tanks. Okay, so they're actually going to easy with the Ink Go Tanks, huh? That's fine. Yeah, I mean, attack Boma. This is where is he? This unit <laughs> at this point, just a bunch of free to play units, right? But this unit could potentially get one. And yeah, I mean, I don't know who else could easy a. It's really just those main units. This is going to be a smaller celebration, likely. So we didn't really expect anything major, like you know, like an LR, like LR Ajo go on probably want to easy a here, right? Even though I brought him up. What I think is likely is that we're getting a world tournament this celebration. What if they just easy a like a bunch of these world tournament like units right here? Like we get an easy a for Kami, get an easy a for this, you know, what's his name? Jackie Toon, right? This kid Goku, Giant Ape gets an easy a, right? You know, some of these guys out here can get awakenings. That, that'd be really cool. I mean, imagine LR Yamcha and Puar easy a or something like that. Could be interesting. If only, if only their relic cards we brought back, back, that'd be insane, but they're definitely not going to, from what I heard anyways. Um, I mean, Grandpa Gohan just got his, this guy just got a super strike recently, so I mean, I guess his design kind of makes sense with Goku Youth. Ooh, you know what, this guy is actually going to probably easy aim, because they're, if you're if we're unaware, they're actually lowering the cost to, it is to buy these guys in JP. They're actually very expensive to get in JP. Does it show you here, like the cost? The costs, yeah. Like in JP, it's a hundred thousand. In global, it's thirty thousand. I believe they're lowering it to twenty thousand. And then I'm, I'm very likely this guy gets an easy aim. He could be very strong again. He's a support unit, so we'll see how they make this. You know, roast right there when they do easy aim. I mean, this guy could easy aim too, right? He's another Goku technically, but that'd be cool. I mean, we can get an Android 8 this celebration, so I, I don't think this guy would easy A because he's too common. But again, a lot of these World Tournament units, I could easily see them get easy A's. You know, Dragon Ball Saga units, that could be cool. But that's pretty much it from here. Let me know what you guys think about easy A's upcoming celebration. 
at the very least, in Kid Goku should definitely be getting his EZA. Uh, if, if they don't, if it's, it could be, it could be just like Super Vegito or Bardock randomly. And they're like, yeah, let's just get it out of the way. Who knows? But let me know what y'all think again, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.